I'm Andrew. Uh, in a nutshell, quick, quick, brief run through. I had a car crash 2008. I uh, were in a coma three months. I had to learn to walk, talk, and everything again. Uh, and part of me learning to walk and talk again, I had to know the truth to everything. I was learning life again. I had to learn everything again from like a baby's perspective. And the only way that for me to internalize it was the truth. It had to be the truth for me to truly understand it. And the more that I looked into <clears throat> the way that society is run, the way that government's ordered and run, uh, the, the whole the whole system that we live in, uh, it's it's massively it's massively not in line with humans human soul, their energy, it's working against us, the system. More to the point, with Soul Camp, Soul Camp, I went to London, I went to Shepherd's Bush, where we got evicted by the, the Welsh National Guards. Uh, I did two months in Shepherd's Bush, and we did about a month and a half in Clapham Common. And yeah, I actually had my birthday in Clapham Common. But if people have any other intentions, but the best for the world, uh, I personally, I personally, I don't know what to say. I, I've got the best intentions for the world. I haven't had children purposely because I don't think this is a nice world to bring kids into. I'm here for peace and love, to create some kind of unity. All the world leaders, all the people, what does Andrew want to say to them? respect the people all children the future of all children depends upon our actions now what we do in our day to day will be the day that they live in the future i think we all need to start operating from love far more than what we have been doing uh, i love you i love you too uh, that's, that's the, in a nutshell, I mean, what can I say? 95% of Earth's wealth is monopolized by 5%. I'll say no more. I love you. I love you too. I'm going to go. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so, uh, I mean, I guess, uh, so I was, I was actually born in Manchester, like I was born around here, uh, and then grew up in Stockport, um, which is where quite a few other people uh, around here are from, uh, but I met them all in London, so it's kind, of, it's kind of weird that like a lot of people here have kind of, we've all grown up together, like for me this feels a bit like coming home um, in, in more ways than one, you know. Um, it, this is this is totally not where I expected my life to be right now. Um, I trained as a doctor. I've got a degree from Cambridge, uh, and I went through with the system. I gave I gave up my job, and uh, you know, I started doing other things. And most recently, I've been teaching. But then uh, I just, you know, with everything with everything sort of. I feel the sense of everything closing in, you know, and, and I've felt it for a long time now, like even before, um, like the recent events. And I've tried a few times actually to, to escape. So when I was in, when I was in New Zealand, I uh, went to live off the grid for a year uh, in a house that a friend of mine had built. Uh, and there were like 14 of us there at one point. Um, we had like solar, solar power, um, uh, rainwater uh, we were growing our own food not entirely but like uh, uh, you know it was a very similar kind of kind of thing and those were some of the happiest times of my life completely and then for one reason or another I ended up with sort of going back into the system and then uh, like having another go because I was basically telling myself all the time like uh, I can find a place for myself if I just do another year if I just get this qualification and that qualification and the next thing and the next thing then eventually it will it will all be all right you know and it, it, 
at some point it's just become clear to me that uh, that that's not true actually you, you, you just can't it's it's there's too much inertia in the system you, reform is not really possible um, and that's why we're kind of taking responsibility for ourselves and 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 trying to to, to make something different really I think you know Na nature nature doesn't work um, in, in hierarchies, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, no, no, all of this is not doing what someone on top of it is telling it to do. No, it's coming up from the bottom and everything finds its place. Everything has its unique talent and its unique uh, contribution to make. I'm, I'm like a completer finisher. You know, I like to see something finished. Uh, so if I start something, I tend to want to kind of see it through to the end. Uh, and that's, I think that kind of thing is useful. In a, in a community like this. So I, th I think that's one of the things that I bring. The other thing is I really, I'm really interested and curious about people. And so when, when there's a conflict, I tend to kind of wanna um, not understand exactly, but I, I sort of just wanna hear what's going on and, and listening to people is, is something that I, I really like to do. And I uh, try to practice doing as well uh, because what I've learned is that when you actually start listening to people, you, you, you see things completely differently. You, you start to see things a little bit more from their point of view or you, or, or, uh, you learn something because they're speaking from their, from their sort of passion. When you see some camp going, what are your hopes and dreams for it? Well, for, for this camp in particular, it will, like everything else, it will, you know, it's been born, it will have its life and, and at some point it will die, you know, nothing lasts forever. Um, but I think that the movement itself uh, and the, the this way of being, the vibration that I was talking about there really is um, bigger than all of us and, and has always been there and always will be there and we're really just sort of tuning into it. So I, th I think, you know, that will be around forever. What do you want to say? What's your message? Just let us be, man. Just let, let us do, uh, let us live the way that we want to live. Stop trying to control us. We're free, we're already free.